you get it in our configuration. This is the, the very best value we've ever done from Hoover, and it's still coming up tonight. So you need a vacuum cleaner? I got you covered. All right, so there's lots of things that we are going to solve. But first, we like to save you some more money. How about free shipping? If you spend $99 or more on any of our storage and organization items, you're gonna get free shipping. Now, by the way, that resets itself every night at midnight. So if you're this close, find a little something else and then everything switches to free shipping. But now we're gonna talk about your cabinets in your kitchen. Are you this close to painting them or tearing them down or redoing your kitchen because those wood cabinets just don't look good? Give me about six or seven minutes and I think I'm going to save you a whole bunch of money. And we're going to do it with our Regency, Regency Restore Wood Polish. And joining me is Lou Caputo. Hi, Lou. Hey, Suzanne. Welcome Hi. back. Thank you very much. Great to be those back. cabinets going, honey, honey, <laughs> those look bad. Yeah, don't we, repaint. Don't, don't repaint. Don't buy new. Do not buy new. No, we can clean them. We can clean them. We're going to show you how to do this, okay? So uh, if your cabinets kind of look like this, and this is a leg off an old chair, okay? Yeah, yeah. And over time, because you keep waxing them, that wax attracts dust and dirt. Maybe you've got a smoker in the house. Maybe you cook a lot and the grease, grease. goes up in there. Yeah, and it gets all over the furniture, so it kind of dulls the finish on the wood. So what do we do? Most of us, okay, I'm going to put this down for a second. Most of us will grab something like this. And we'll get a nice paste wax. And we'll take that paste wax and we'll put it on a piece of cloth, right? And we'll go down here, we'll go to work on this piece of wood. And we'll start rubbing it around and we'll start buffing, we'll start buffing, and we'll start buffing. How much time do I have? Because we're gonna be here a while. It's gonna take- And actually you're like, okay, that's getting yeah. shiny. Yeah. It looks okay. better. I did that much, okay? I've gotta do an entire chair. So I'm gonna be here for a long time. Let me show you the difference in why Regency Gold is so much better, okay? First of all, Regency Gold is a liquid. Okay, so you just shake it up, make sure you shake it up good, and you're just gonna take the Regency Gold and you pour it into any kind of receptacle, a cup, a bowl, anything like that, okay? Then you're gonna grab your cloth, and it could be anything. It doesn't have to be a fancy cloth, it could be a t-shirt, you know, anything you got lying around. And you're gonna soak it real good. You wanna get in there and you wanna get that just saturated with the Regency Gold. But then, as soon as you do, you're gonna wring it out. Cause you don't wanna have it soaked when you're actually using it. You just want it to permeate all the fibers in this. But we're gonna wring that thing out as good as I can, just like that. Get every bit of it out. Now, am I gonna throw away what I didn't use? No, sir. Oh my gosh, no. I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna pour it right back into the bottle. And that's why Regency Gold lasts you for so long. Oh yeah, and it's not a harsh chemical whatsoever. No, non-caustic, non-toxic. Notice I'm not wearing gloves. I got it all over my hands. I don't sure. care. Right. It doesn't smell, mm -hmm. okay? If anything, that's a really nice, clean, fresh scent. So now, watch what I'm gonna do to that same leg. You saw how long it took me to do that little tiny piece. Watch what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna take my Regency gold. I'm going to start at the bottom and I'm just going to And wind. you're not scrubbing really hard. No, I am not. I am just winding this around, but wait till you see the finished mm. product done. Now, look how quickly I just did that. Look how fabulous that looks. What? Okay, so I'm the viewer at home. <laughs> I'm the doubting Thomas. I'm like, that's wet. Of course it's going to look that shiny. Not wet. Wait, and we'll come back and at the end of the presentation, we're going to show you that same leg again. Yes, And we it are. will look just like that. I guarantee it. Because yeah. everybody at home says, well, of course you used a liquid on it. It's going to be wet. Right. No, that's not the finish. And no waxy buildup. And that's the thing is the wax is what attracts the dust. So this is going to clean, it's going to polish, and it's going to feed the wood. It's good for the wood. So it actually does three jobs. It does three different okay. jobs. Yeah, it revitalizes the wood. At the end of the day, that's really what it's doing. Now, if you got painted woods, okay, maybe you got like chair rails or different things like that around the house. Watch this. If I go on this piece right here, and this is filthy dirty. You can see right there the difference almost immediately as I go around on this, and I'm just kind of scrubbing it back and forth. I'm not even really pressing it. No. Just rubbing it. Scrubbing is not the right word, but as I'm just doing this, you're going to see the difference. And notice, because it is non -cox, uh, talk, uh, caustic, thank you, non-toxic, look at that finish mm. right there. It didn't do a thing to the paint. Not so crazy. you don't need to worry about using this on woods that have already been painted, okay? Now, here's a really cool one, and this is the one that really blows people's minds. I'm gonna just set this over here. We're gonna take a quick shot of this before I even touch it. And the reason is, this is a piece off an antique chair, mm. okay? okay? It's the last piece that's left. Or John Florell, the guy that normally sells this, um, I think he's too cheap to buy the whole chair. I think that's really what this is. <laughs> Watch what I'm gonna do, though. I'm gonna take the Regency Gold, and I want you to notice something, too. I haven't added any more to this cloth. I haven't, you know, that's dipped crazy. it again. It's the same cloth I'm using, and I'm just working my way around on this, and I want you to see when I get to the top of this, okay? We're gonna look at the difference here. Oh my gosh, All right, look and at look that. at that. 
Okay? Now, let me ask you a question. How long would it take you to clean that with anything else? Oh, forever. Right? Forever. Plus getting into those complicated Look areas. Look at the difference. Look at the shine. And what it's doing is it's bringing back the natural sheen of the wood. That's it's great. not adding to it. Right. It's not making a, a, give it a false polish. Right. It's just making that wood look better. Well, let me ask you this. Do you have that yes. end table that you're thinking, oh, I need new end tables. They're just right. trash. They've got the rings on them and they're really old and they just look really bad. And you're like, I'm getting new end tables. Don't even buy the end tables yet. Or maybe you have a coffee table you love but it's really seen it's better years sure. you know mm -hmm. do not buy a new coffee table just yet what i want you to do you get two bottles of these is get this at home with flex pay it's under ten dollars and we're shipping it for free clean your entire house. I don't care. Find all the wood in the house. I Everything. want every cabinet, every bit that you have. If you're not 100% thrilled with this, you send it back. We'll refund your money. But before you're going to spend money on new cabinets, yes. or you're going to take the effort of trying to scrub a wood cabinet to get that hard, greasy stuff off, maybe you haven't cleaned your cabinets in forever yep. and you don't realize what they're supposed to look like. You know like. what? This is a funny thing. The memory is a weird thing. It fades. You don't sure remember right. exactly how good those cabinets look four, five, ten years ago when you first got them. Right. Regency Gold is like a time machine. It's going to take you back to when those cabinets were new, when they look at it. And it doesn't matter the kind of wood that you've got. Could be oak, could be pine, could be mahogany, could be cherry. cherry, anything you've got, you can clean with the Regency Gold. And this is what we're talking about, the cabinet doors. Because you don't think about it, but every time you make bacon, that grease goes up in there and it lands on something. If you've got a smoker in the house, that nicotine, nicotine gets on something. The dust just traps, gets trapped on here. If you wax it or use those spray polishes, not good. Regency Gold's not going to do that. Now, here's something interesting, though, about we were talking a moment ago about how it doesn't give it a false shine, okay? This is a piece of laminate right here, okay? okay? And this is a piece of paneling, actually. I want you to see something here. I'm going to get all this gunk off of here. And when I do, I'm going to compare it to the really shiny piece we just did a moment ago, okay? Now, watch this. Okay. I'm going to hold this guy up here, and I want you to see this one side by side. Now, notice the difference. This is a more matte finish over there, and this guy is a lot more shiny, okay? P.S. It's still not wet. <laughs> by the way, totally dry. <laughs> totally dry. It just looks that way. But it doesn't add a false shine. So this is supposed to be matte. If that's the way that they, the craftsman finished the wood, it's going to leave it that way. If this one is supposed to have a high gloss, it's going to come back with a high gloss. Yeah. Very, very simple. And remember, we're cleaning, we're polishing, we are feeding the wood. It's good for the wood. Yes. Revitalizing it is what and we're doing. And think about all the wood you have around your house. Oh, yeah. We've done a great video. I don't know if we still have it, but it's of a gal doing this front door. I think it was an inn. Yeah. And it, you can tell it's, it's that inn's got to be up in the northeast somewhere. Because because uh, it Philly. has seen, is it in Philly? It's in Philly. It has seen some serious years. Look and boy, I'll tell you what, if you've got a front door that's a wood front door, yes. and you want to bring it back, and you were just thinking about getting a new front door, you're like, oh, it's so ugly. Here it is. Thanks, guys. I think this is a great example. Yeah. I, I used to live in Philly, yeah. see millions of doors that sure. look like this. And the wood gets this way. It's what we call weather beaten, because yeah. it's sitting outside. So the wind, the rain, the sun, look at the all those things. Yeah, it, it really does bring back that. Now, if you want to use it on the floor, just take a cup of the Regency Gold, pour it into a, a bucket of water water, half bucket of water, and you can just use that on your hardwood floors. Banisters, look railings at look at like difference. this. Yeah, look at that. And how long would it take you? Look how intricate that piece is. How long oh. would that take you to do with anything else? Now, yeah, look at the ring marks if on If you've here. got this ring marks, you know what that is really? That's either heat or water stains that are on the wax buildup. So by taking the wax buildup off, we get rid of the rings oh. as well, and we bring back the beautiful natural luster that of the wood. That piano is beautiful. Isn't it, isn't it or, gorgeous? You know what, for me, I always, I love a good yard sale, yep. or I love going to like a flea market and finding that great sure. piece. Yep. And you look at it and go, oh, but it's so yeah. dirty, oh. it's so old. I'm glad you said that, hold yeah. on a second. Because look, this is a piece of pine, just a cheap piece of pine off a drawer. But look Gosh. how great that looks that when you clean awesome. it. awesome. Doesn't it look amazing? Now, you're talking about antiques though. So let's say that you're antiquing, right? Oh, and you wow. go out and you find something that looks like this. Now, a lot of people, it's like when you look at a house and you have to imagine what it could be. Right. Look at the top of this. You look at the top and then go, this thing's wrecked. This, I would pass right? it by. Totally, it's been it. in a fire, right? No, right. it hasn't. It's just really dirty. It's been sitting for a long oh. time. It's got wax buildup on it. Now, this is painted wood, okay? And I, we need to make the distinction here because a lot okay. of chemicals and waxes, they will actually damage the paint, right? Sure. Regency Gold doesn't do that. Look at the difference right there. I mean, it brought this back to life right. in just a couple of well, seconds. Well, it could be something you found in the attic from your sure. great-grandparents. It could be something you're thinking, oh, this is so beat up and it's mm -hmm. a family heirloom and I feel too guilty getting rid of it. Bring it back to life. And I love our flex pan, our love our return policy. Because I think when you
see things like Professor Amos Drain Cleaner that's so well received, Regency Gold that people love, you doubt it because it really is amazing it's, how it's it works. It's amazing. Well, okay, so teak wood yeah. boats, teak. teak. Oh, Tons yeah, of teak, yeah. lots of oil, takes hours. Outdoor furniture, this piece is typical of what happens to teak when it's been exposed to the elements mm. for a long time. Look how quickly I can clean this with the Regency Gold, and I want you to see how beautiful this looks, the luster that it brings back, the wood grain that comes out of this. I'll just do half, just so you can see the contrast. Look at how amazing that looks. And again, still using the same rag. You see how filthy this is getting. But I'm still using the same rag, still using my one dip of Regency Gold. And that's why we say it's gonna last you for a very, very long time. Because remember, the difference of Regency Gold is we're not putting a coating on it, we're not putting wax on it, we're actually cleaning, we're polishing, we're revitalizing the wood. It feeds the wood, it's good for the wood. Right, and no other product out there is like this. In fact, it's mm -mm. been around for how many years? I know it started. Um, 1895, so we figured out it was 123 years. Yeah, and it started out with fancy carriages. Uh, yes, right? carriages. It was um, British craftsmen, actually, woodworkers, that came up with this to keep their work looking good. And just look at just this one piece right That's here. That's insane. But look how intricate this is. Wow. And if you did that with wax, you'd be here with a toothpick and a toothbrush trying to get that out of there. But with the yeah. Regents, you go, look, I can even get into these little nooks and crannies That's on the side crazy. over here. See that? Yeah. I mean, look at that. It's just amazing how it gets in there and it really brings, you can see the parts I've done versus the rest of this. It really brings the luster of the wood back. And I think so many of us, you really look around your house, you probably have a lot of wood in your house. Absolutely, I mean, think, you don't I, think about if it. If you just used it for your kitchen cabinets, just if that's where you started with it, right. it's worth it. Yeah. Okay, and then you take it around to the house and go, oh, the end table, the coffee table, oh, oh I've got the wood railing. You know, if you have an older home, chances are you've got wood in that house. Here's a little old recipe box, okay? Oh, cute. Now somebody would look at this, again, garage sale in an attic or something, you'd be like, oh, trash that thing. Right. That is just right. junk, right? No, not junk. Look at this. Look at the gorgeous wood grain. And the thing is, when it was dirty, when it had all that wax buildup on it, you couldn't see that wood grain. Isn't but look at this. Funny. This is a stunning piece of wood. And you know what's interesting? We talk about all different woods. You can use it on cherry, maple, oak, pine, you know, whatever you've got. I'm gonna grab a piece that's a mixture of woods. And it's an inlay piece. Somebody spent a lot of time making this beautiful little floral design. It's not painted though. This one is actually different woods inlaid. Wow. And I want you to just see how that just comes to life. Look at the colors and look at the wood grain behind this. The, and you know what it is about, about the Regency Gold? It's the depth of the shine, the mm -hmm. sheen. You can see into the wood. Yeah. I love that it about this. It almost has a mirror finish on this one. I yeah. literally am seeing the reflection from above yeah. us But if you, into if the you wood. rub your finger on this, yeah, that's not it's wet, not waxy, guys. it's not wet. Yeah. It feeds the wood and just brings it back to life. Revitalizes. Right. So here's what we're doing. We have a two pack. You're getting both of these. And again, he's still using the exact same, same, same cloth. cloth in the beginning. And yeah. again, and here's one, this again. Show this one one more time. Sure. It's not wet. Look this, at these. We started it out in the beginning and you thought, oh, that's probably wet. It's nope. not. No, if you that's feel this, this is totally dry. Yeah. That is the finish. Yeah. And you know what? Silky smooth. Not waxy. And it is silky smooth. Isn't that funny? It's, yeah. it's, it's, it just feels good. It feels good. It's <laughs> clean. It's clean. But again, it's hydrated. It's protected as well. Right. And you don't have to dust as much because it's not grabbing exactly. all the dust uh, right. as a normal wax buildup would. Yeah. All right. Thanks so much. You're very welcome. My pleasure. Great to have you here. Great By the way, don't forget that Hoover's coming up, but I'm going to show you something that really kind of gives you, I guess, a sense of satisfaction. It's sort of like an insurance policy.